Today we're covering problems the M1 Abrams experiences in lengthy battlefield conditions. The M1 Abrams is one of the most advanced battle tanks ever built. It's heavily armored, has a modern fire control system, and massive firepower. However, in reality, when it comes to tough and sometimes limited battlefield conditions, a lot more needs to be considered other than armor and firepower. In today's video, we'll dive into the common problems with the M1 Abrams. These are issues experienced by American crews during the Gulf War and Afghanistan, and now reported by Ukrainian soldiers fighting on a modern battlefield. Let's take a closer look. The filter problem. The most persistent issue faced by Ukrainian crews operating the M1 has been the tank's air intake filters. Designed to shield the powerful gas turbine engine from external contaminants, these filters require cleaning every 12 hours to prevent dust and debris from damaging the delicate turbine fan blades. Without this routine maintenance, dirt can erode the blades, causing severe damage and potentially leading to complete engine failure if not cleaned on time. If that happens, the engine must be removed and sent away for expensive and lengthy repairs, a process that leaves the tank out of action when needed most. Reports indicate that many of the Abrams tanks deployed in Ukraine have suffered performance issues simply because crews couldn't keep up with the constant need for filter cleaning. The fuel problem. The M1 Abrams gas turbine engine is infamous for its fuel inefficiency, consuming approximately 0.6 miles per gallon. Even while the gas turbine engine idles, it has to burn significant amounts of jet fuel. In Ukraine, where maintaining a steady supply chain is a constant struggle, this fuel consumption has become a significant drawback. Retired General Mark Hurtling has pointed out that the Abrams logistical requirements, primarily its voracious appetite for fuel, constrain resources and limit the tank's operational flexibility. The hydraulic fluid problem. The M1 Abrams relies on hydraulic systems that use flammable fluids, a design choice that poses significant risks in combat. Damage to hydraulic lines from shrapnel or anti-tank weapons can result in leaks that ignite, leading to fires that threaten both the tank and its crew. These systems are critical for turret rotation and gun stabilization, but their reliance on outdated technology has raised concerns. Unlike some modern tanks that have adopted electric systems or safer hydraulic fluids, the Abrams continues to use flammable hydraulics, making it vulnerable to catastrophic fires. This design flaw has been highlighted in past conflicts where secondary damage from hydraulic fires has incapacitated tanks. While retrofitting the Abrams with safer alternatives is possible, it would require significant investment, leaving this long-standing vulnerability unaddressed in many units. The armor problem. While still formidable against threats, some analysts argue that its Chobum composite armor is less effective against modern anti-tank systems like the Cornet M missile employed by Russian forces in Ukraine. The Cornet M anti-tank missile system has a maximum penetration of 1,100 to 1,300 millimeters behind explosive reactive armor. It can also penetrate 3 to 3.5 meters of concrete. According to reports from Ukrainian operators, the Abrams has struggled against advanced weaponry in certain engagements. This is why the Ukrainians have placed reactive armor bricks on the sides of the M1 Abrams and even on its turret cheeks, suggesting that the Cornet M may be a threat to the M1 Abrams turret cheeks. The condensation problem. While the Abrams is built to handle intense battlefield conditions, this sensitivity to moisture highlights a surprising Achilles heel in its design, one that becomes increasingly apparent in environments like Ukraine where weather conditions can vary dramatically. In humid or rainy conditions, moisture builds up within the tank's sensitive electronics, potentially causing problems for the crew. Condensation can disrupt key electronic components, which are vital for the Abrams advanced targeting and navigation systems. This not only reduces the tank's operational effectiveness, but also creates additional maintenance challenges for crews. The mobility problem, the M1 Abrams has a weight problem exceeding 60 tons. This presents a problem in muddy terrains where it can easily sink and become stuck. 
This issue is particularly evident in Ukraine's wet and soft conditions. Adding to the problem is the Abrams suspension system, which has been criticized by Ukrainians for poor performance compared to other tanks, such as the Leopard 2 and Challenger 2 tanks. Struggling on rough terrain, the suspension leads to a rough ride that can compromise firing accuracy. The tank's tracks also face criticism for their short lifespan, requiring frequent replacements during intensive use. Mud buildup around the sprocket, caused by the rear skirting plate, increases the risk of slippage or thrown tracks, leaving the Abrams inoperable until repairs are made. Together, all these factors significantly impact the Abrams' mobility, limiting its effectiveness in some of the most challenging and wet combat conditions. The money problem. The M1 Abrams is one of the most expensive tanks in the world, with each unit costing millions of dollars to produce and even more to maintain. Beyond its initial price tag, the tank's high fuel consumption, frequent maintenance needs, and reliance on specialized parts make it a costly asset for any army. This financial burden has drawn criticism from military analysts and operators alike, especially in conflict zones where resources are already stretched thin. The M1A1 Abrams has earned its place in history, but no tank is without its challenges. These issues remind us that even the most advanced machines have their limits. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.